fair use, fair use. This is for um, uh, fair use. Okay. Sorry, other had to use part of your video. Praises on the glory of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. The great millstone. The peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel that are scattered abroad. I like to say Shalom. This, uh, since I come into the truth, which has only been like three, four years, you know, I've noticed that I've noticed a huge change. You know, it's it's getting more worldly. If that's the uh, if that's the word, worldly Israelites, uh, filthy lucre. I'm seeing a lot of. Uh, Israelites doing stuff for money, doing stuff for likes. And trying to cater to the world. Trying to cater and trying to be accepted of the world around us, man. The Lord told us not to be worldly. He told us friendship with the world was enmity with the most high let's get that the word enmity in the etymology it says hostile feeling rivalry malice internal conflict enmity hostile act aversion so whatever you call yourself a man of the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you're being a French of the world, a friend of the world, a friend with these Satanists, a friend with all these people that's in the world, catering to women, saying that the woman is uh, more powerful than Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's hostility towards the Lord. He, he, it says enmity, usually plural from. In them make us enemy. It says enemy. Enemy. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> enemy. One hateful toward and intent on harming someone. So the Lord gets. He gets pissed off when he sees that kind of stuff, man. Captain Cesario, first of all, you, your whole camp is wearing all black, you know. Our elder apostle tells us about that vibe of wearing all black all the time. And then you guys tell your congregation it's okay to get the jab. And you guys got a 501c32. I'm hearing, not totally positive on that, but 
just telling your congregation to go down there and get hokeyed up, pokeyed up, and everything else, man, the fighting, IUIC, IU, IUIC, and then IUS, or ISUPK fighting, you know, all this, all this is on camera, everybody's fighting each other, that's friendship with the world, uh, it, uh, it's almost like it's all planned. You got Wi-Fi people keep on going to jail, getting locked up, quoting scriptures while they're going to jail. You guys are being friends of the world. The Lord don't like the world, okay? I just looked up the word enmity, and it occurs eight times in a regular blue letter. That's without the apocrypha, but, you know, there's two of them here. We're going to get the one in James 4 and 4, which is my first one. It says, Ye adulterous, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. We just, re we just read that word enmity, right? What it, what it means. Basically making yourself an enemy. You know... Uh, this Hebrew Israelite thing of ours, it's not supposed to be flashy. The Lord ain't dealing with all types of numbers and, you know, selling breakdowns and going on shows and debating people and all this stuff and, and trying to be in the world, like trying to have your place in the world at, at the same time, have your place in the kingdom that's coming. Like you can't, you got to choose a side here, you know? These uh, filthy lucre Israelites, you know, I feel like it's, a, it's all for money. It's all for gain, instant gratification. Ever since this social media stuff came out, this, this world just been changing and it's been waxing worse and worse and worse. Everybody's just doing stuff to do it just to get likes. It's a spell. So... Captain Cesariac, you know, saying that women are above the Most High, are above uh, Yahweh Shai, under the Most High. Like, that's just to get love and trying to get likes. Like, you need a Facebook, 100,000 Facebook likes from the women around the world or something. Like, w get out of here, man. You're totally bypassing the Lord. When you go on all these uh, talk shows and debate, you go on Sarnetta and debate against people and all this, and, and you're getting paid money for these things. The Lord is not impressed with that, man. You want to be seen so bad. It, it, it's like you guys are making this Hebrew Israelite thing of ours a plate. It's like, it's like let's uh, wake up in the morning and let's go play on the fucking playground. Like the Apostle Gabar said not too long ago, stop playing with the Most High, man. This ain't no fucking playground. You Hebrew Israelites out there, man. No, I ain't been in the truth that long, but you guys are a fucking bunch of play. You want to play all the time. Let's, let's play. Let's be friends with the world. The Lord said don't be friends with this goddamn world, man. You want to be seen so much. You want to go play on a fucking playground so bad, don't you? Lead another sheep astray. Let another sheep know you got dudes eating pork on camera. Letting it be known. This this thing of ours is turning to some kind of uh, a fad, like uh, some kind of, uh, you know, it's the new in thing. And then they, 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 they think it's going to fade away or some shit. The new Black Panthers, the new this, the new that. This shit ain't, this ain't gonna fade away. This is who we are, man. And when you bring that worldly shit in these doors, and young men and women are trying to be saved, try, trying to figure out how to be saved, trying to get on the right side of how Bashimi I was shy, trying to actually uh, be obedient that fear the Lord, then you're leading them astray, man. You're leading the sheeps 
astray with all that worldly shit. IUIC got all these garments. They're all shiny. Ain't nobody caring about that, man. What was the, you know, all these numbers. Oh, you got thousands and thousands of people marching. The Lord don't deal with numbers, man. You know, there was an account in the scriptures whenever uh, the Lord made those people go and, uh, he, 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 told, he said, go and uh, drink out the creek. Or he said, those that, uh, what was that story? Roughly paraphrasing. Lord willing, I get it after this. But the Lord don't deal with huge numbers. All shiny garments and all gold and purple and all this stuff, man. That's worldly, man. You're obviously trying to get attention. The Lord used to hide himself away, man. Go to the Garden of Gethsemane. He didn't want attention. He just wanted to preach to the, the ones that needed it. For it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. You guys get mad at us for not preaching in the ghettos and shit. Calling us bums. Because we ain't all shiny. Because we're not worldly. James 4 and 4. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Romans 8 and 7. And it says, I'll just read this whole thing. Romans 8 and 6, right? You almost got to go back. This is beautiful. I love this. Yeah, bondage. And that's what you guys are trying to go back into. You, you want to be bound again by this world. You, you want to be a part of it so bad. You, you, you say that you're an Israelite, but you're still trying to go back to Egypt. If you, if you catch my drift, you're like, oh, I'm comfortable in America. I'm comfortable in Egypt, but I'm an Israelite, though. I'm comfortable. I like this money. I like doing this, that, and the other. But I'm, but I, I, I'm an Israelite. I'm preaching the truth. The MOTB is uh, uh, sleeping with white women. The MOTB is uh, what else they say? Shit like uh, the MOTB is a uh, uh, Caesar Borzier, a, pi a picture of Caesar Borzier. White man Jesus. That's the MOTB. And, and why do they do these things? Because they got that 501c3. They're comfortable here. They like being on TV. They like being in the spotlight. They like wearing shiny garments. They like getting that money from the government. That gag order 501c3 to be a part of this world still, man. Leading men and women astray. Romans 8 and six, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. They're not thinking about, it's almost like, first and foremost, they don't have fear of the Lord. And second, that, and that's the hugest thing, I, they don't have fear of the Lord. The Lord says, agree with thine adversary while thou are in the way with him. So Wi-Fi keep on getting arrested. And while they're getting carried away in cuffs, they're quoting scriptures. But and then they they put on all their posts. They're like white man bows down to kiss my feet. That's worldly shit. And a lot of you Israelites, that's all you click on. Like the elder Manatazak when he got into when he got into it with the dude. You look through his page, and that's the biggest fucking video because most of you Israelites are piece of shit. You don't listen to the videos that's actually trying to edify you, man. You want the beef, you want the drama. That's where the Lord gonna bring beef and drama to you. Piece of shit motherfuckers, man. Cause you're carnal, man. 
You trying to make this Hebrew Israelite thing of ours in the world and shit. You want to bring gangster shit in here. Wearing all black. Oh, I got the new J's. That, that's basically IUIC. Oh, we're all purple and we're all gold and, and we're calling on Jesus Christ. You ain't like us. You ain't shit. You a bum. You ain't got no money. That's some fake shit, man. That's some social media, uh, uh, science witchcraft on your fucking mind shit. The Lord is simple, man. You people are of the world, and the Lord's going to take your asses out. You're of the world, man. Romans 8 and 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. You how about Shemia was shy. Not Christ and Jesus. You're of the world. You're speaking on speaking about Jesus, man. You know damn well the letter J wasn't invented until 1524. You're of the fucking world, man. Everybody wants to change this thing. This thing of ours, like our apostle elder Gabar says, man. This thing of ours, they they change it into this worldly, filthy lucre Israelite thing. Like it, like like anybody can join. You you can you you know, doing whatever camp you want. We got the money over here. You probably want to join us. We can we get you. You can change your last name. You can wear shiny garments. Or you, you could join us over here. We ain't taking no shit. You know, if our people don't go out there and fight, then we kicking them out the camp. I asked you, PK. Got that dark, wicked energy going on over there. It's like a bunch of gangsters that just got out of prison. You wicked piece of shit. The Lord is not impressed with you guys, man. He's not impressed with you Israelites. He's not impressed with the state of Israel, man. It's crazy. Like, you would think that everybody would be. But no, you wouldn't think that because it, it, prophecy tells us that these things. So let me correct myself. No, you, it's just it's just vexing, man. It's just vexing. Titus 1 and 10 and 11, it says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, man. This is talking about you other camps, man. And, 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 you, and you, you, you keep leading the sheep astray. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. So whole families, man, getting subverted. You know, you lead them straight to death. You know, the elect that are among you are gonna figure that out. Just like the elect amongst GMS, you know, different GMS brothers getting kicked out the truth. Going back to, to saying things that they ought not to say. And I'm not even in a group at all, you know. <laughs> but I'm sitting back watching and I'm seeing all these things, man. It just it just feels weird. It just feels there's a there's a there's a there's a wicked energy in Israel, man. And it's always been like that. The Lord had to take but he always reserves a remnant. So we only speak to the elect. Because most of you Israelites are, are carnal and you're watching for entertainment purposes. Okay? And you're trying to make yourself a prophet. You know? You're trying to make yourself into this thing. No, you can't make yourself of the chosen or the calm. You 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 want to be involved instead of just listening. There's too many too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Too many people who are carnal minded just want to be seen entertainment purposes they want too many likes on facebook or instagram oh i got i want some likes social media profits gangster profits wearing guns and wearing hats all the time 
and doing all types of bullshit on camera. My, they got all the scripts. They know more scripts than me, but they have the world. They might as well be in a fucking game, man. Oh, I'm the new GDs. I'm the new Crips. I'm the new Bloods. That's what they want to make this Hebrew Israelite thing. They want to make it a part of the gangs and shit. Vice Lords. This ain't no game, man. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre sake. All you Israelite camps, IUIC, Bishop Nate, filthy lucre sake. I ask you, PK, Captain Tazariok, filthy lucre sake. Sakari. <laughs> trying to uh, get a rap group together and all this other bullshit. Filthy lookers sake. You want to be a part of the world. You know, you got that weak ass whack 100. You talking to him on interviews. And why, why all these inter all these interviews for these I Israelites, man? Filthy lookers sake. Everything is worldly. Too much shit. Too much of the world. You, you, you're too involved in the world. That's just my two cents on it, man. You know, and it, and it, and it's just looking at it and seeing it and knowing that different sheep are following that because sheep need they need a guide, man. They need a guide, and and the scriptures tell you that there's going to come a time where the true worshippers. Of the Lord, man. He's coming for the true worshipers. Let me grab that real quick. St. John 4 and 23, and it says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay, so in spirit and in truth, and you know that friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High. And it's like there's a blinder on these camps. That they don't even realize how part of the world they are. Well, they may, they may realize it. But it's a part of their agenda, you know. Either they've been bought and paid for. Or the Lord's simply just trying to, you know, because the Lord also say the, uh, he, he created the false prophet also, you know, so, you know, it, it's just so much that you can, it's so tacky. You know how Esau, Edom, he's getting tacky. He's getting like, he, he's predictable. That's how these camps are. They're predictable, man. They're tacky. It's like Esau Edom is in their back pocket. They want that money, that dollar that is, that's going to crash. Anyway, man. Don't be like these Israelites, man. Don't be like these guys out here. These evil, wicked men. Shalom.